Judging the things I do not know, I simply sat in my place and just let them flow. As soon as I let go, they started feeling comfortable around me. I watched as they twirled across the concrete. Their dance became a ceremony, and I became their guest. I felt so blessed, but with no warning, they dove into my chest and pressed through my neck and into my brain, but the weird part was I felt no pain. In fact, it felt great, better than any drug you could ever take. No oh. earthly sex could compare to these sensations. <laughs> My channels were opened, and I realized that that's all they were waiting for. They gave me a birth into their world. Endless patterns filled with colors. I realized this is not my world yet. We belong in this world for these trees grow with these patterns. Look outside, be outside, and flow with the wind. We are here right now. Everything lies within. My mind felt distant from every human being on this planet. And the only one that came close to touching me is you. You're the only one I allow to see my soul when it hurts. Our relationship comes so close to touching infinity, but at the same time, it's the definition of the absence of value. So here it is. Come into me and feel me breathe. Touch my soul and let it go. Let it fly into the sky and let it soar and come back to the floor where my body's trapped, oddly stacked on top of yours. Don't look back into the past. You know we both want more. So just let go, unlock the door to your soul, and I'll give you the key to mine. But there's no more denying the inclination to be blind. So don't feed me these lies and don't eat them yourself, because as hard as we try, we can't leave what we felt. But we're Ooh. still stuck with the decisions we made, and even after all your narcissism and hate, there will always be a place in my ribcage where I store the memories of your smiling face. Oh. But who knows? Maybe we'll see each other again one day and be able to look into each other's eyes without anyone crying. Wow. Yeah.